Hey there, I'm DJ Shares. Did you know that you can control your Easy Robot from your mobile phone? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your mobile phone to control your Easy Robot. Download and install the latest copy of Easy Builder from the Easy Robot website. Load your copy of Easy Builder. Select Open, choose Examples, and select Revolution 6. This is a basic project which includes an auto position control to move your robot. We are now going to add a camera control to give your robot a view. And then we're also going to add a microphone control so we can now speak through our robot. If we were to save this project to the cloud as is, only the desktop would be displayed to the user, and that may be confusing. Let's create a custom interface for this app. Select Project, Add Control, Mobile, and choose the Mobile Interface Builder. Press the gear icon to open the configuration settings. Here, we can begin designing our mobile interface. You can either select the template image for the background or choose your own. I will select the background for this image from the template. I will add a connection status button. This will display the current connection status and open the connection control when pressed. Now I will add movement panels. Add a forward button, left button, right button, and so on. Let's give this project a camera view. I will now add EZB CPU temperature and EZB voltage statuses. Let's also add a button which will open the microphone control. Edit the script event. Select control details to view your generated code. Select the show control microphone option. This code will be inserted into your script. Press save. Now we are done our example interface, I will save the configuration. In Easy Builder, we can use all of the buttons to test our user interface. We now have a few controls in our project. When the project is loaded on the mobile device, we will want the interface that we just created to load as a default. Select Project, choose Details. Under the default control dropdown, select the interface that we had just created, My Mobile Interface. Press OK. Easy Builder Mobile loads its projects from the Easy Cloud. Save your project to the Easy Cloud. File, Easy Cloud, Save. On this menu, you can give your project a name and a description. You may also select a custom image that will be displayed for the app icon. So we press save and wait while the project is uploaded to the Easy Cloud. On your mobile device, load the Easy Builder app. Select the App Store and choose the project that we just had created. Our awesome app. We can now press the connection button and establish a connection to the robot. If you are connected to your local Wi-Fi network, you will need to disconnect and connect to the ECB Wi-Fi. Select IP address and push the connect button. We're now connected to the Wi-Fi of the EZB. Let's control a robot with our new app. Press the back button on your device to return to the main menu of Easy Builder. Your mobile interface and desktop shortcuts are displayed. To view your desktop, select the shortcut. You may select each control to view the mobile version of that control. Back at the main menu, you can use the control list 
to view all the controls in alphabetical order. For example, we can choose the microphone control. Here, we can record our voice and play it back through the robot. I am an easy robot. I am an easy robot. There you go. Easy Robot has gone mobile. And we made it super easy for anyone to create mobile robot apps of their own. The possibilities are practically endless. Join the Easy Robot revolution. <laughs>